Good morning, I'm Russ Moyer, and welcome to the Prophetic Edge. What a wonderful moment in time that we stand in. I want to tell you what, right now, Big Mo is on our side. I want to talk to you this morning about momentum, because I believe that's right where we're at <coughs> in the body of Christ, and everything that's going on right now all around us has to do with Big Mo. And, uh, you know, I, I've told you before that I like riding Favor. That's the name of my favorite horse, and I ride Favor home a winner. But there are different times and moments and shifts of things that happen when that pendulum begins to swing. Something seems to happen like a snowball going down the mountain. It gathers momentum. And in sports and in other type of organizations and activities, when things start humming, and I mean when they start humming, you know that Big Mo is on your side. Because I tell you what, momentum will make a way here. Favor certainly opens the door and puts that hand on you. That one ounce of favor changes everything. But I'm going to tell you, you want to jump on this baby when Big Mo is on your side. You're very, very hard to stop when momentum is on your side. It takes more energy to stop you when you have momentum. And so it's a, a very, very important principle of leadership and principle of, of, of teamwork. And John Maxwell, the great, the great motivational teacher and pastor who, who talks about the skills and techniques and laws of leadership talks about the law of high morale, which in intent and purpose is momentum. Momentum is on your side. When you're winning, I mean there's something about when you're winning, when you're riding high, when you're in the high cotton, oh, there's something good that's happening. When you're winning, nothing hurts. What would be a life stopping circumstance or a situation that would shut you down and and defeat you emotionally, you'll run right through that door when Big Mo is on your side. And I, I tell you what, I, I, I want to always ride favor. That's the that's the way home. One drop of favor is worth all, more than all the talent and activity that I can muster up. It's the favor of the Lord. And when the scepter of the king is extended, you can ask for whatever you will. You can ask for things and do things and get things done that you couldn't do when you have momentum on your side. Because everybody begins to work to this new level because of the excitement and the motivation and the basic foundation encouragement that's inside of you at that moment of impact. When things start to roll, they start to go on good. You, I'm telling you, your organization, your group, you, something starts out. When a nation begins to gather momentum, they're much harder to stop. It's important that we know and we acknowledge when change occurs and when momentum shifts into our court. April the 8th, you know, in the natural, in Rosh which is actually the new year, when the new year begins, not, not at Rosh Hashanah, but it was April the 8th, I believe, this year, uh, something shifted, something happened, momentum came on our side. We, we couldn't see it sometimes in the natural things that are going on. We were, many people were expecting some natural manifestation in that particular moment of time. But see, this was a spiritual shift. So all of the natural things are continuing to shift and they're actually gaining momentum. From April the 8th, everything that's happened in our ministry has accelerated continually. You see, on April the 8th, things were in the other team's court, even if you're thinking politically. Right now, the Republican Party is going to be coming out of their convention with momentum on their side, with Big Mo on their team. Something's gonna happen, they're gonna be very, very difficult to stop. And each one of these moments, see, and they actually go in and tie in to laws of nature, uh, like, um, like the force that's required to stop something that's in motion. 
or the amount of energy that's necessary to start and move an object that is at rest. It requires more energy. So once momentum is on your side and things begin to flow, that's the time that you want to press in, that you want to press on, that you want to, because momentum's on your side, this thing's going to begin to gather momentum. Things since April the 8th in Eagle Worldwide Ministries and in the church at large and in the political system, everything else, even though we were under attack, things had already shifted. Even though the natural realm has not yet changed the circumstances, the spiritual realm had received that change and now we were gathering speed and things were accelerating and things are happening quicker. That was a day and a moment where momentum shifted to our side. So I, I want to tell you, and, and every sports team will tell you about that, organizations, it's important that we understand the power of momentum and the law of high morale. Believe me, when you're on top, it's important. It's important not to forget where you're at and what's going on. When that scepter of the king is extended, that's the time that you can ask for whatever you will. And what's according to his will, he's going to give you. But his favor is extended to you in that season of momentum. The definition of momentum in civics is the quantity of motion of a moving body measured as a product of mass and velocity. Like the impetus gained by a moving object, such as this vehicle gained momentum. Impetus is the force or energy that makes something happen, that makes something move quickly or makes a body or mass to move. In a relationship, it's the stimulus or encouragement that results in increased activity and production. So, as you're moving forth, know the impetus, the point, the point of contact, the point that they're the most important point of the product of momentum is that it will stimulate you, even relationally, through encouragement and the results that you'll see to a higher level of activity. It's a motivating force. Momentum, motivation. It's a motivating force. It's a force of encouragement. It's a positive force. There's a lot of forces of influence on us in society. Some are positive, some are negative. You know, there's fear motivated, and, and that's a negative motivation, motivation, no doubt. Um, greed is a motivation of man, but it's a negative one. We're talking about big mo. We're talking about good mo. We're talking about momentum on our side, momentum beginning to flow, momentum that comes from a relationship that's been stimulated by encouragement and seeing results causes us to begin to flow one after another a little better, a little stronger, and it raises our level of faith and expectation. So that's where we're at. Right now, I'm gonna tell you, baby, Big Mo is on our side. No matter what the scoreboard says, no matter how much time you think is remaining in the game, right now, Big Mo is on our side. Time is on our side. Everything is on our side right now. God is changing and shifting everything. The momentum now is on our side. That began on April the 8th, and it's going to continue to accelerate and increase. Prophetically, that's where we're at in this moment. Prophetically, lift up your head. Look to the heavens. Stop thinking about what happened before that date. What happened in COVID? What's happening with health, finances? The impossibilities now, we're quickly become possible because Big Mo is on your side because the favor of the Lord is on us in this moment to move forward. There's a positive and strengthening force. You're going to see it affect every area of our lives. I want to tell you as this shift begins to come, yes, it's going to change the political arena. 
It's going to change the spiritual arena and the church is going to be able to build again. Go back and ask. Go back and knock again on that door where you received the no because the timing now is that Mo is on your side. The scepter of the king is extended toward you. Begin to make bold and prophetic proclamations and declarations that express the courageous spirit that's in your heart. Because it's the moment now of impact. And it's going to increase and accelerate in the days ahead. When the Republican Party comes out of this, look out. Like a snowball coming down the hill, it's going to turn into a landslide. This thing is flowing right now. And it's flowing in each one of our lives. This is not just a political thing. This is a spiritual thing because the battle and the war has been spiritual. But it's going to affect everything, including economics, so get ready. Some great and wonderful things are going to come our way, but we must be prepared and positioned to take advantage of them. This is an important part to be liquid, an important moment in time to be financially liquid, to be prepared for the opportunities that we're going to be faced with for the next 12 to 18 months. There's going to be some wonderful opportunities that come and that rise up, but if you're not prepared for it, you won't be able to capitalize on it. So you have to know that thing. So you have to position yourself so that now that momentum is there on you. Momentum is guiding you. That wave is on the wave. You, you need to ride the wave. But you need to be prepared to ride the wave. You have to have the right equipment on board. You have to make, make the right decisions preluding all of that. It, it, it's going to result in increased activity, impact, results things are going to shift. If you're moving things and you're looking for impact, I'm going to tell you things are going to get better. If Mo is on our side and we're going to see growth and development over the next six months, then the things like gold and silver are probably reaching their peak. Because when the economy recovers, that gold and silver prices are probably going to adjust down lower because they're up high now because of all the things that have been going on. I'm not giving you any kind of tip. I'm just telling you things are going to improve and things are going to improve rapidly and you're going to see a change in the attitude of the people and, and because we're going to be stimulated by encouragement, even the um, stock market, even the real estate market. Over the next 18 months, you're going to see stimulation that comes from the encouragement that we're receiving by the things that are changing around us because momentum is on our side. We're gonna to begin to gather energy. There's something about momentum and it takes, a, it takes energy, it takes more energy to start something and move something that's at rest. Once it's rolling, it takes less energy. So it's gonna take less energy to do the same thing as we did. So it's going to accelerate things and accelerate impact. So I want you to lift your head up. I want you to know that we're moving into a better season. We came out of the worst. We survived the storm. We survived everything that was thrown at us. When, when you, you know, when you were looking around, I, 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 I mean, we went through a lot of things over the last six, seven years that uh, every one of us, I'm sure, had moments that you said, hey, wait, that's it, man. I don't know, I can go on another step. I don't know, this was a really bad day. I was always able to say, hey, you know, this could be worse. It could be Donald Trump. Yeah. And uh, I want you to tell you, I want to tell you, everything's been shifted. Oh, we're getting a fresh look at everything. These hindrances and obstacles are being removed by the thrill of victory. Uh, it, it's a, um, a moment of spiritual euphoria. I don't want you to think that it's a fleeting moment, but it's a present moment. It's a now moment. And euphoria uh, makes you, uh, it makes it so the things that are still facing you don't look nearly as bad because you've had a change in your attitude. And when your attitude changes, your altitude will change. Your perspective of what you're looking at will change. You'll have the same problem, but you'll have a different look 
because you'll be more confident in the fact that you are walking at a time where momentum is on your side. So I, I want you to be strong, I want you to be bold, I want you to be courageous. We're stepping into a new place, new posture, new position. We're crossing over into new land. The scepter is extended toward us now. Bold, courageous declarations. Move out on those things that you were thinking about, that you're saying, hey, could it be? Is it possible in this situation? It's possible. Momentum's on our side. Dependent has shifted. And it began April the 8th. But as we come into the fall season with the fall feast, you're going to see, again, you're going to see different moments of shifts, changes, increases. I'm not saying that we're going to go there hindrance-free. But the momentum that we have and on the thrills of the victories that we're having, these hindrances are going to look smaller. The obstacles are gonna to appear to be easy to remove so that you can walk in the thrill of victory and you'll be able to move at full strength. You have the momentum. And you know, in sports organizations and teams, you have to peak at the right moment. If you peak too soon, then when the moment for the championship battle occurs, you would have already passed your peak. I want you to know that this is our moment and we are peaking. You and I are peaking. The favor of the Lord is on us. Now make bold choices and decisions. God is going to bring together coalitions, groups, organization, covenant relationships, people to walk together. He's going to bring together kingdom wealth builders in this season with a plan and a strategy and a heart to build the kingdom of God. So we're no longer, no longer going to have to rely on government and and, 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 and and secular circumstances and situations. He's going to begin to establish kingdom wealth builders that are going to position themselves and come together as coalitions and groups to be able to move forward financially so that the church will not have to rely on the government and other sources, uh, uh, secular sources. Uh, during, during COVID, uh, uh, many churches, uh, we're leasing properties from landlords, including ourselves, that we're leasing properties from landlords who only had a secular view of what was happening so that he couldn't see anything from a kingdom perspective. And many churches lost their leases, had to move, lost their buildings, were continued to have to pay. Some of them end up losing their ministry over all of these things that were happening. But... I believe that the end time harvest, God is going to fund that through kingdom wealth builders, through people that have a concept of not just being a Christian at work or a marketplace minister, but a kingdom wealth builder who's going to walk up and set up coalitions, groups, organizations, uh, uh, partnerships that are going to walk together and extend and advance the kingdom of God in the marketplace, in, in land holdings. We're going to take ground. We're going to take authority. He's going to raise up kingdom-oriented businesses, people that have a vision for business. And they're going to use a good portion of the proceeds to extend and advance the kingdom. He's going to give them ideas and concepts. Creativity is going to be released. Resources are going to be released. Why? Because momentum is on our side. It's going to begin to pick up. Now, we, we have a great schedule. I'm, I'm leaving in, in a couple of days for Canada. We're going to make a, an awesome run across Canada. Uh, I think four provinces, maybe nine or 10 cities. We're gonna be doing summer camp up there in two locations in Aurora and, and, uh, and in Hamilton, Ontario. And we're gonna go across, we'll be out of Twin Lakes Ranch, out in Moose Jaw, Alberta. So we're gonna go across the country and meet and see a lot of people. If you're looking for a schedule and where we're gonna be and what we're gonna be doing, you can go to our website at eagleworldwide.com. Uh, you know, and, and the momentum is shifting and where we're headed right now, certainly I'm headed to Canada and the camp and I'll be back here and in Florida and Pastor Maeve and I will be going back and forth at different times. But then come the fall, we're shifting into something brand new and wonderful is that relaunch at Camp Ablaze. But it's a relaunch, not just of Camp Ablaze, but it's everything. It's a relaunch for you, for me. 
into the ministry, into the call, into the moment. We're going to be having conferences down here at Camp of Blaze. Wonderful conferences like New Heart with a Fresh Start. We need a fresh start right now. We need a fresh start, but we need to have it with a new heart, with a new understanding. Knowing that we have that something new that we're birthing that's going on, that it's a new season, that it's a new moment. We're going to have a great freedom conference down here with Salwyn Stevens from the International Society of Deliverance Ministries. He's going to be doing the international conference. Then he's going to come here to Camp of Rays and Living along with Roger Miller and myself and others in the ministry that are every day walking and working in freedom ministry, deliverance and inner healing. You know, the screaming eagles. I'm going to tell you right now, now's the time. We're attacking. We're on the attack. Right now we have over 200 people that are part of our Screaming Eagles Advanced Mentoring Group. We're going to have an awesome fall conference down here at Camp of Blaze with all the recreational activities and everything else to recreate the moment and what we're doing to set fresh new vision, to set us in place, to move us forward. And that's the time we're in. As I come down to Canada, open up your hearts because I'm coming with a prophetic message of momentum being on our side. Preparing us and positioning us for the tremendous relaunch. It's time for the comeback. We're going into the second half. We've been on pause, but here we go. Ready to go. I hope you're ready. Come on, buckle up, baby. This thing's going to get good. This thing's going to get really good. I'm excited. If you can tell, I'm excited. I couldn't be more excited. Since the first of the year, the prophetic words that have come to pass, that have come true, things that we were fighting for here, like at the campground, we were intensely pursuing this for a number of years. It was sold out from under us a couple of times. But God, but God knows how to pull it right out of the fire, just like he pulled you, me and you out of the fire. He's pulling things out of the fire right now. And they ain't even gonna smell like smoke. We're gonna come out clean and fresh and ready, and strong. He's going to renew us physically, spiritually, emotionally. Just like the scripture of Isaiah 40, 31. He's going to renew our strength. We're going to soar like eagles and run. Not grow weary. He's going to energize us in this moment. Why? Momentum is on our side. It's his season. It's his time. The scepter of the king, the king of glory, and the king of kings is extended toward us right now. All you people out west, you know, come on and see us out there at Twin Lakes Ranch with Ron and Lorna Sylvester. You know, we've been going out there for more than 20 years, and I guess about 20 years or so in partnering with them. It's been an amazing time to see the miracle power of God and, and what happened there in the prairies. And right now, momentum is in the prairies. Momentum is on Canada. It doesn't look like it because we still see those forces against us. But I want you to know things are turning. People are coming back. People are reconciliation and restoration. People are coming back to their place and their position. They're coming back with a fresh new humble spirit saying, hey, here I am. I'm ready to go. Now, one of the new, starting the end of August, one of our new training sessions that we're going to be doing uh, with the Screaming Eagles Advanced Mentoring is Kingdom Wealth Building where we're going to train what it's really all about, how to put together groups and coalitions, what to look for, how to work, how to walk, what's the tools that we that we need to have at hand in this moment in our society. How do we have to change our mentality to capitalize on the system that's there? While at the same time, we are changing the system into a positive force for us, and God's changing that entire system. But in the process of it, we have to come into alignment and flow so we flow into the blessing because we were prepared in position and to catch that wave. The same way that a surfer catches a wave. The wave's on the way. Oh, the wave is on the way. I'm gonna get you know what? Twenty some years ago I caught the wave wave. Ooh, I'm still riding that baby. Come on now. And you know when I catch that wave, I wanna ride it right now. I'm gonna do some body surfs. I'm throwing the board overboard. Everything's getting thrown away. I just want to body surf this baby. I'm going to go in until I get the sand in my pockets. I'm headed right for the beach, baby. This one's coming in. This is the big one. This is the big one. Oh, come on, Elizabeth. This is the big one. 
I'm going to tell you, if you're out there right now, you've been pushing, you've been shoving, you've been going, you've been pressing in. Don't stop now, baby. You're right there. There are two Elizabeths that are watching right now. One of you, something is stirring in your womb and you're birthing something. And you can feel life in your womb. You feel life and fire in your belly. Everything's pointing to quit, but don't quit. There's another Elizabeth. You're on the verge of bringing this thing to another level. This is a different person. And some different people are gonna come on board in this hour. You're gonna see the old fall away. You were part of honoring. And honor's in your heart. But the field is changing. And so are the leaders. All over the earth right now, there's a shift in leadership. There's a leader shift going on. A new generation is coming over the hill. Keep your eyes out for them. They're going to look a little different. They may not act the way you want. They may not have the accent you want. They may not have the background and pedigree that you want. They may not be the big name star, but I'm going to tell you, momentum's on them and so is favor. When they come over the hill, recognize them in the spirit. That the serving of spirits is a great time right now for you and I. I'm going to tell you, I'm, this week as I go up there and I leave on Friday, at this Sunday I'm going to be Jehovah Jireh, I'm going to be with Karen McLean, and I have seen some wonderful, miraculous things that have happened as I walk with her since 2000, since December of, of, of 2000. What a tremendous apostolic and prophetic leader, her and her family at Jehovah Jireh in Orangeville. I'm going to be there on Sunday. I'll tell you right now, I, I'm, I am bringing the, the word that's on my heart right now is relaunch, positioning for relaunch. It's gathering momentum. It's pressing in, pressing through. I believe this is one of the most important moments that we've ever been in. I'm gonna be seeing the Levites while I'm up there. Glory to God on a Sunday evening there with Daniel Pietro Soto and his whole team. He's a new daddy. And he's a young man, but he's a father in the spirit with a father's heart and understands paternity. And I'll be going into the Levites group. And, and, and I know that I'm carrying something for the moment. I know that I'm carrying something that I need to release in Canada. I'll be in a war at the gathering place. I'll, 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 I'll be on a, 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 on a Monday night in a war for the Great Lakes outpouring. I, it, it, my, my heart is, is longing to see you. On a, on a Tuesday night, I'm going to be at the Barry outpouring with Tom and Tom and Monica. And, and, and what hunger there is in the midst of that group. By the way, it's not how big you are. It's how big God is inside and God's stirring and shaking. And right now he's extending it. I can't even tell you. He's holding that sword. It's big. It's in two hands. It's pointed at you. He's going to set it on your shoulder. You're getting ready to be knighted and ignited. Glory to God. I'm on my way. I'm coming to see it. And we start camp. Glory to God. Get ready. Get set. Now is the moment. Hey, you can catch her online. But if you're anywhere close, come on in person. There's something about hands on, and I'm the kind of dude that likes to lay hands on. I'm a product of the laying on of hands. So get ready, come on, something's gonna happen. Hey, can I buy declaration and proclamation? And I make some bold declarations and confirmations and things I've been saying have been happening, and you can just see them. You could go back and look. Feel, taste, drink. It's not man, it's not man, it's not a ministry. This is the heart of God in the moment. And we're hitting in sync. Get it in sync, sweet pea. Here we go. There you go. You know, it's like you're riding favor right now. But you're riding favor good. Here you are. Every, everything on favor that's moving. You think Secretariat was strong? Here's favor with those muscles moving. You see that staying stable in the saddle, in the saddle, but moving, moving, and moving, moving right with favor. Thank you for joining me today. 
I'm going to for a fresh importation to come to every one of you to watch on a prophetic edge. I'm looking forward to seeing you in, uh, in Canada. I'm looking forward to seeing you here in Alabama and Pensacola, here and there and everywhere. I'm going to be in Costa Rica before too long in the fall. We're going to see great and mighty things that happen. Get ready. Big Mo. Big Mo is on your side. God bless you now. Thank you for joining us. You have a great day.